John Quinn from uh, Volvo Fee. I'm involved with the I'm secretary of the uh, organisation called the 24th Battalion uh, Association, formed uh, late 2012, early uh, 2013, uh, designed to uh, bring together people who formed or who served, sorry, in the 24th Battalion uh, from the late 50s, the 60s, the 70s, and right up to 2004. It's our first outing of the, this association. Our plan is that each year we'll, be, we'll have an outing. And again today this is quite unique because we have uh, a very uh, large itinerary uh, here today. We have Brian O'Reilly who uh, will talk and, and give a small demonstration uh, of a video. And he'll also hand over the, the uniform that he wore while on uh, the John F. Kennedy funeral um, in Arlington Cemetery back in uh, November two, 1963. Tremendous turnout here today. We're blessed with uh, a number of things, we're blessed with the weather. We're, we're very uh, pleased to see such a large number of ex-people uh, who served in the organisation and people who still serve in the organisation as well. Uh, from, the, from the point of view of, of the uh, regular staff who have been with us back in those days are here as well today and that's very unique and very nice to see as well. What do you hope to achieve with this event? Well, what I hope to achieve basically is that we can get recognition uh, and, and re respect of a PR basis for uh, the, the, the general public uh, to look at and, and pictures uh, and possibly a video that's going to be compiled uh, and available to buy uh, and this will encourage more of our of our ex people who served in the organisation to come back maybe from England at our next occasion back from America back from wherever Afghanistan what was the purpose for the FCA what what was the role what the whole the whole that? well the whole purpose of the FCA really um, Shane was that they were, they were uh, set up initially as part of the Air, Air Raid Precautions Act of 1942 uh, and they were formed in 1947 uh, on a national basis and again their, their, whole, their whole aim of the FCA was they were to provide uh, barrack support uh, for uh, the, the, the local uh, full-time forces who were called out to do uh, patrols and, and around border areas and all that kind of stuff so the FCA were to end up to a level they could do the barrack duty, they could do guard duty and, and participate at that level, you know. Colonel Declan O'Carroll, former commanding officer of both the 24th Battalion and the 28th Battalion. It's great to see this occasion, great to have a plaque unveiled to the former members of the Defence Forces who served here uh, during the emergency in particular. And it was unveiled by uh, Dennis Horgan, Corporal Dennis Horgan, a, a 90 odd year old man who had served here and that was a very splendid occasion. How important is it to have days like this where they can, where people can, past members, current members can get together and talk about good times? No, it's very important, Shane. These are our, our occasions, and you can see all the families here today too. And, and for them, it's a great, it's a, it's a great occasion because they would have very little exposure nowadays with the army. Of course, the army is virtually gone ahead and gone now, except for the battalion down in Finner. So up this part of the county, it's very important when we have an occasion like this.